Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're still in Comstock House and, uh, well, we don't know when we are exactly. The roof is completely shattered. There's a snowstorm going, out, uh, going, going on outside and there's horrifying boys of silence roaming the halls of this uh, horrifying institution for some reason. Uh, and there's also a lot of crazy alternate there's dimension confused patients running around. Um, but here we have the switch. Before we flip that, I'm gonna actually listen to this foxophone. It's another Elizabeth one. What I've done cannot be undone. I cannot stop what I have put in motion. But perhaps I can keep it from ever starting. He was my first hope. And now, he is my last. He was my first hope and now he is my last. So something happened that Elizabeth completely regrets, but she can't turn it back anymore. So she wants to use us to hopefully fix it. So let's open the security gate. Should be able to head downstairs and get to Elizabeth now. Yes, indeed. So uh, that should be fine, right? Everything's completely A-OK. -okay. There's nothing... Come on, come on. I think... Yeah. I know, of course, this was gonna happen, but it's kind of the biggest jump scare in the game. So let's uh, keep the stunning going. I love Overkill. Goodbye. So Overkill combined with Headmaster is a really nice combination because they just, uh, if they're close enough to each other, they're just completely dead. Don't, don't they have a weapon of some sort? I just want to swap my weapons out a bit. Let's keep, get the machine gun over here. Let's try shooting with that a bit because I'm still, I'm still missing the trophy for the machine gun kills. So uh, this time there were normal soldiers just barging out the gates because of... Um, the boy of silence and that was that was freaking horrible horrible those boys of silence are really really creepy um uh, hi no! there will be no oh god stop 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 Electricity, to say it in the words of the uh, Vini Vini Vigri uh, machine. Baptism. What was that? The of the was that just the elevator opening up? I hope it Sometimes was just the elevator opening up. And I should start using away. my freaking machine gun instead of talking about yeah, using a machine gun. Um, let's get back down Baptism. and through the gate because I think we're pretty much the through everything here. Itself. Let's listen to this foxophone. I destroy the siphon, will I be strong enough to see all the doors and open whichever I choose? And if I bring him here, who is to say that he would be any match for the monsters I have created? So, Elizabeth is talking about bringing us here. So that means that we're here because of this version of Elizabeth and not the one we've been walking around with all this time. Um... And she also mentions that she was responsible for the creation of these, uh, well, these patients and these boys of silence. So that is, that is just horrible. Um, let's watch, watch this thing, Sunrise. So no, another one of uh, William Foreman, just, just, yeah, a lovely view of uh, Columbia. There we go, 31 out of 37. We're uh, starting to reach the end of that. I'm not sure if I missed any of them. I'm, I'm assuming I missed at least one. Because uh, we just went through the elevator because we can walk through that now and I think all the boys of silence are gone as well So I'm just gonna check out one more area No, I don't think I missed anything and just want to check I uh, wanted to check if I didn't miss anything in the first uh, dormitory where we uh, Sneaked past that uh, boy of silence rather quickly Just wanted to check if there wasn't a foxophone around there So there we go open door that should enable us to go uh, continue on our uh, rescue mission. 
So we can still hear Elizabeth screaming Elizabeth, for some reason. But we know we're not in any position to save her. What? There we go. It's a tear. Hello, Latessas. Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. And they're gone again. So again, indicating that it's not the question as to what is going on, but when it is going on. Um, and there we have a uh, an ominous figure standing at the yes, end of this area. Okay. The lunatics are running the asylum. They don't even listen to me anymore. All I can do is watch as what I set into motion slides into its terminal stage. It took all I had left in me just to bring you here. Uh, Elizabeth, I, I don't understand. I heard you screaming. I was, I was coming to get you. Are we... Here. Take my hand. So... We know by now that we're further in the timeline than we thought we were. And uh, we also know that by now Elizabeth started to lose her power. So that's why she says she lost... Well, she used pretty much everything she still had left to bring us here. So let's take her hand. And uh, get up there with her. Because as you can see... We're uh, more than a few months further along. The seed of the prophet. Because right there, the throne, 1984. And flame, the mountains of man. We started in 1912. Say what you will about Comstock. He was a hell of a fortune teller. It wasn't the torture that broke me. It wasn't the indoctrination. It was time. Time rots everything, Booker. Even hope. I was coming. Songbird. He always stops you. Yes, but I would find a way. No. It's too late for me. I brought you here for your sake. Yours and hers. Here. So I'm just gonna, before we take the card. There's a few interesting things here. Of course, this is rather modern New York. So 1984, we saw this vision when we started the game. And then 1984, of course, a fitting year because of it's the title of the uh, book by George Orwell, which talks about a dystopian future. Um, and that means we've gone 72 years into the future. So not just a few months, not just a few years, but 72 years. And let's take a uh, very similar card as we got from the Latessas from Elizabeth. What is this? It's for her. She'll know how to read it. What does it say? It's advice. Advice on what? How not to become me. And suddenly we hear a familiar tune, because that's the tune that's playing on the... Uh, on the home screen of this game, so the the main menu of this game. And it looks like we're back. Everything seems happy and all. And very fitting, there's a rose inside of the cage. I never I think I added it added it in the edit of the video, but when we first changed uh dimensions back in uh well in the in Fink, Finkton, we uh found a cage with a pigeon in it and when we change dimension the pigeon was dead inside of the cage the bird in the cage is of course a recurring theme in this game uh as indicated by the the neck brace that you can give uh elizabeth but now instead of a bird there's a rose inside of the cage which is of course very fitting um and there's a book of the word of the prophet again so i I'm think back. we're back where we need to be 1912 before she there's still time. There is still time. Elizabeth! But not much as we can hear right now. So let's open the door. Get your men upstairs. If she gets ornery, just hit her with the machines. She opens one tear and there will be nothing but regrets. And there we have Comstock. And the two doctors Comstock! we've been hearing about. What are you doing to her? Let her be! Mr. Durant, what's the expression? Delay to the dollar short. 
The day late and a dollar short. So she's being experimented on, siphoned on at the same time. And there's something sticking in her back. So let's not waste any more time and get uh, shut down those machines from upstairs. Get to killing. I think I'm just gonna go with possession for this one. Because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there's a, a third over there. So go, uh, go here while you're bot. You might actually hit them if you want to. She is not your daughter. Are you gonna kill? Because I want to get kills with the machine gun. I think, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay, that's a that's an interesting sight. You're no match. Um. There we go. That was that was weird. That figure just was pointing down, and nothing was happening. Um, I'm again out of machine gun bullets. I'm starting to feel like this weapon isn't really effective anymore. So let's take the shotgun of these guys. And I think there's another bot around here. Well, let's wait until it stops firing. Because we need to head out this way. So I just want to make sure this place isn't completely clean when we want to get through here. And now, yeah, let's not wait, waste too much time. We're still here to rescue our uh, damsel in distress. So let's go left first and take out the... Because we need to get in there. So let's take out this guy. And pull the lever. I think that takes out half of the siphons. We're not sedating her, so that... Oh, God. Uh, let's go with Shock Jockey then. I see him. Reap what you sow. Oh shit! There's a few other people here. Just gonna swap to return to Sandy. Oh shit! Just gonna, just gonna wait here for a second. There goes one. There goes one. And then that one, this one got shocked. Think that golden? Oh god. Come on. Did I just kill both of them? Okay, I did. Well, this is interesting. My my ball of bullets is just staying here. Okay, then. Never mind. Never saw that happening. Let's go to the to the right side and um, turn off the generators completely. And let's see what Elizabeth does as a bit of a retaliation. Ah! Nope, I don't care. And let's swip, switch this off. There we go. And there's a little tear. Yeah, she is getting up. And there's um there's a tornado coming. Inside of the building. I love to see just how ridiculous it is. Yep, we're inside of a tornado. And I think they're gone. 
and Elizabeth is a bit pissed. So let's... Elizabeth, I'll be right there. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be definitely right there. So there's another office up there, but we can't open that unless we use Elizabeth to do so. If I think, yeah, because there's a, a lockpick. <laughs> I, I love the caption on this thing. Elizabeth is busy, can't lockpick. She's, she's definitely busy. Um, I have more bullets for the shotgun. So let's go with the crank gun. Let's crank it up. Uh, I'm just gonna go with Bucking Bronco for now. Is there anything here I can check out? No. Probably not. Yeah, and this entire place is kind of wrecked. So let's head up here and rescue Elizabeth from her uh, from this horrible machine. Um, is it over here? Yeah, free Elizabeth. Oh God! I got you. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna fix this. You ready? Just do it. Just do it. She just says, "Ah, oh, fucking do it." Yeah, How is that? Is yeah, it looks like it really hurts. So let's help Hope Elizabeth out with her corset. What is it? Just read it. Don't tie it too Dream of New York. tight. Happens. It's me. I I'm the one who. Uh. She's giving Ouch. us a way to get past Songbird. We're gonna find an airship and we'll leave Booker. Paris, Elizabeth. Remember, you wanted to go. We're to not leaving. We are going to find Comstock. Why? You saw what he turns me into. I will not allow that. And so what? You're going to kill him? <gasps> this is where you start moralizing, Booker. You forget. I know you. She kind of has a point. Really? Booker? What are you going to do to stop Oh, God. Not a damn thing. Because I'm going to do it for you. Please, please put the tornado away. Thank you. Thank, thank you for putting the tornado away. I'm not going to be mad at you. Higher learning. Love that trophy. With a lovely boy of silence as a trophy image. Um, let's get up there. Now to find the prophet. Comstock's Zeppelin is outside. The hand of the prophet, he calls it. When did you learn that? I've been here for a while. How long? Long enough. So yeah, we haven't been returned right back where we uh, started out from. He wanted from me. Cause he is not gonna have long to use it. And there's our our little bullet sponge thingy, still there for some reason. Don't know what happened there. Must have put a trap down. Child's play. And suddenly she's happy again. As long as she can look like a door, she's perfectly happy. So let's go in here, and I think this is pretty much the last infusion you can get. Or maybe want the last one. Let's pick it up and infuse our health again. Just what the doctor ordered. Search the desk for a bit of ammo. And then we have the golden bar and another voxophone from uh, Dr. Powell. The procedure should help immensely with the issues we've had with the girl. Once the device is implanted, any effort on her part to alter the state of things will emit a most painful electric shock. Pavlov made a dog salivate. We'll make this one weep. So there we go. They wanted to uh, infuse a, a, well, sort of a machine into her. That would give her a shock every time she tried to, well, change dimensions. Or anything of the same sort. Um, but yeah, we kind of saved her from that. So let's uh, this look. One open. Let me see. This thing. There, go. there we go. Easy peasy. And uh, there's a book box here. With a candy bar. Thank you for the candy bar. Let's uh, get out of here. This doesn't make any sense. Everything here is a cipher that I understand except for this symbol. It's a cage. Did she say anything about this? No. No, she didn't. She just said that you would understand. Okay, so. The Hand of the Prophet. We're nearing... Uh, Comstock, Comstock's location. I think it's. Can you see it from over here? We're gonna see it in Look, a second anyway, so. It's the hand of the prophet. Comstock's ah, black. There it is. There it find is. A way on board. Stay here. I'll handle this. We're doing this together, or I'm doing it alone. Either way, I need to know the thing's been done. Oh, do it. You struggle against prophecy. Prophecy. 
like a stone loosed from a sling. How thrilling the launch, how breathtaking the apex, and how terrifying the descent as gravity drags you down into the inevitable. Yeah, Comstock is still a lovely, a lovely person. We haven't seen him in a while, except for, of course, five minutes ago. But, uh, yeah, he's still really, really pissed at us. For some reason, oh my god, that Minuteman thingy scared the shit out of me for some reason. Let's pick everything up and fully load ourselves with everything we can find here. Because we have a rather tough fight ahead of us. And let's possess this thing. Pick up the Silver Eagles and buy a few more upgrades. RPG damage boost is the first one. I think I'm gonna go for the damage boost on the volley gun as well. And that's pretty much the procedure it. procedure should help immensely with the um, issues we've had with the girl. You, you can, you can stop. The device is implanted, any yeah, okay, he just activated that for some reason. We'll make this one weep. I don't know why that played it again, because I didn't even touch the... Uh, Need down money? on the d-pad um well, okay. i can always use it but we're getting pretty close to where we need to be um there we go and then we'll lock pick this thing Seems easy enough. don't think there will be dialogue for this one it's done yeah, there we go so let's head outside because we need to get we need to disappear again it's probably up there somewhere but yeah there sad. it is look take cover so they're dropping in. Be duds. Those aren't duds. They're motorized patriots. Look around you, Elizabeth. Ooh. I built that one's all interesting. This for you. Do it now. You are my there you go. And my blood. And what has DeWitt ever done for you? To him, you are now what you always were. The means die, to die, 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 die. I'm just gonna hide for a second. Um, I'm almost out of bullets again. Holy shit. Elizabeth. So let's keep going and see what else we can find. Just gonna gather this corpse. Reload. Go ahead. On it. There we go. Let's swap weapons. I think we can actually get some more grand gun ammo over here. Let's reload. I'm just gonna go with return to Sandler for a shield. This is your fault. Season to taste. You need this. Yeah, Great. I do. Oh god. Ooh, that's not it, is it? Just gonna be careful, activate a shield, and then go with fucking Bronco. Oh, that shield didn't take long. Look, her look. The that can take us to the hand of the clock. Jesus. Okay. We got through that rather quickly. That was interesting. I'd rather fight motorized patriots than um, handymen. And there was none in that fight. So that's in our favor. I'm just going to loot the place a bit. And uh, then we're going to head towards that uh, airship. Because that's going to be interesting. Let's go over here. I'll see you guys in a second. 
So in all the commotion, you might actually miss that there's another room here that we can go fix. So let's do that. Open that up and let's check that out as well. Because there we go. Look completely split in two. And let's discover what else is in here. Because I think there's two rooms in here. Yeah, there we go. We have another uh, machine over here. So let's do that already. And listen to another voxophone of Rosalind Lutess. My brother has presented me with an ultimatum. If we do not send the girl back from where we brought her, he and I must part. Where he sees an empty page, I see King Lear. But he is my brother. So I shall play my part, knowing it shall all end in tears. I shall play my part knowing it will all end in tears. So her brother wanted to bring Elizabeth back to where they got her from so we already know that it's linked to the machine they made it's locked Let me have a look. so they found elizabeth in another uh, dimension and uh, brought her here All to uh, see if they could use her as comstock's daughter so uh that's pretty much it um i don't think there's anything else here aside from a uh, lockpicks for some reason there we go and that's pretty much it, so I'm just gonna check out the inventory here again. We almost have every upgrade we can. I would like the shock chain aid if we can by the end of the game, but for now it's you not really an option. Thank you, unless that gives us about a thousand coins. Nope, nope, e not even f close to that. Uh, I'm just gonna check around here a bit and I'll see you guys in a second. So there we go, I don't think I missed anything else. Well, if I missed anything, so be it. Just gonna use this telescope over here, because that's of course for the Sightseer trophy, but I think I'm gonna have missed a few things for that one. So let's exit again. So there we have 32 out of 37, and I don't think there's another one. Might have missed them. Because they're, they're really easy to overlook, uh, but I'm, I'm gonna assume that I missed at least one of them. Um, return to the hand of the prophet. I am awaiting your order to proceed. Great. So let's do that then before we... Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Here we go. Right you are. We depart to the hand of the prophet. Ah, uh, now it's saving. Okay. But you know what? Let's 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 ride this out. I'm going to assume it's going to save after this as well. So uh, here we go. Just going to equip a few... <coughs> kind of lost my voice there. Very handy uh, vigors. It's possible to redeem the kind of things that we've done. Redeem? I don't see much use in that. Booker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. And there we have the quote from the very, very beginning of the game. Booker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Booker, are you afraid of gold? No, but I am afraid of you. And we hear shit going on. Over there! It's Comstock's men, they're coming out to meet us. Repel the airborne assault. We're gonna be in a bit of trouble here. So let's just... I'm gonna try and get over there. Ah, oh, that actually works. Because if I just push them away a bit... There we go. I think I killed most of them by uh, just shooting them off. Okay, let's just... Another gunship on the left. So now we have another uh, mosquito at our defense.
And that one's just gonna drop down, I think. There we go. Rockets, be careful. Oh wow, look at that, they're fighting each other. Return to your gunship, well gladly. Oh shit. <laughs> that was dry. <laughs> oh, that was really, really dry. So I think there's a carbine on the side here. Yeah. And then, boom! Oh, that he was on Elizabeth's ship, on our ship. That was interesting. <coughs> So that's that, and we're getting close to the, the hand of the prophet there. And then let's go with this one. Yeah, I really don't like you guys. Oh wait, I got an idea for that. Goodbye. You'll be sorry. Um, ooh, this is gonna be nice. Whee! He's dead. There he is. We need to land below and fight our way up to him. Or we can just fly this thing to Paris. Just drop me off if you want to. This isn't your problem, Booker. I won't abandon you. It kind of is. You he kind of did a lot would to you? us. Look, you wouldn't, would you? That was a weird thing to say. The flagship. They're covered with those motorized Patriot pods. Well, that must be where they're deployed from. I wouldn't go near those lines while those pods are in place. Call no, indeed. At the top of the ship. Let's head up. So there we go. We're saving. So I am actually going to take a little break. Even though this guy... There's something about him that you just can't put your finger on. Catch, Booker! Soon you'll understand. The man I am, and the man he isn't. Um, soon you'll understand the man I am and the man he isn't. Sounds like she's uh, just antagonizing Elizabeth here. But I'm gonna take a little break if I'm if it stops annoying me here. Seriously? There we go. Are you seriously gonna throw some more stuff at, at me? Never mind. Um, so I'm gonna take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're gonna completely explore Comstock's flagship. Because we're getting uh, really close to the ending of the game. So thanks again enormously for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Good. Bye. Oh, shit.